So I'm one of those guys that decorates the whole house at Halloween. <laughs> I really go overboard. I really enjoyed that when I was a kid. You'd go out and there'd be that one house that had all the pumpkins and the fog machine and the strobe lights and the scary music. That's awesome. So I like to provide that for the kids. And um, We live here in a neighborhood with... It's typically between 30 and 50, so it's a good, uh, it's a good, good turnout for, for trick or treating. So I wanted to do another kind of decoration, something I can put in the window, and I had this idea. So I thought I'd make a good Halloween video. So uh, we're gonna get to it. I'll let you watch the first carve here, which is the main area, and then um, we'll cut it out. I'm gonna paint it and uh, fill it with some glow-in-the-dark resin. So that'll be kind of cool. So, sit back and watch this uh, carve out, no pun intended, Michael Myers.
All right, there's the first carve, the rough cut. Um, I'm going to send the detail bit through, and then I'll cut it out. And, uh, yeah, it's really coming together there. That looks going to look awesome. It's a good size. It's going to look awesome in the window. All right, moving forward. That came out really good. It's um, just what I wanted. And uh, it was about a two-hour carve total. Uh, just need to take it off the the table here, trim it out. Uh, I'm going to give it a light sand. I'm going to set it up in the stand itself and um, give it a couple coats of spray paint. And uh, when that's dry, we can come back and start pouring it. Well, he's looking awesome. Um, I typically don't paint inside where I'm going to pour. I let the, the color of the mica powder or the pigment take care of that. Um, but since this is painted black, I mean, it looks gray in there where his face is, but it's black. And um, so what I want to do is to get this the most whitest glow, the, most, the best white opaque that I can get. Um, I'm going to paint it first with some white acrylic and then uh, after that dries I'm going to paint on a layer of glow-in-the-dark acrylic and then uh, that should be a good base for when we pour our glow-in-the-dark resin in there. Get it? Got it? Good. He's all poured. I'm going to probably, I mean, I should be able to stand it up by tomorrow. Um, full two days to cure. And I did this on my CNC table because it's perfectly level and flat. And, uh, yeah, so that should look good. Float in there pretty good. I'm going to hit it with the heat gun, get any air bubbles out, and then uh, move forward. Well, I think he came out awesome. It's going to make a great addition to my Halloween decorations. Uh, I want to show you the best part though. Huh? Huh? Very menacing. So he's going to sit in the window and charge all day and uh, hopefully in the evening scare people. <laughs> so I want to wish you a very safe and happy Halloween. Uh, thank you for joining me. Thumbs up so I know you like my content, and we'll talk again soon. Bye for now.